There are many ways in heavy bid to change a material price, but one of the quickest ways is in the change material other resource screen because also there will be subs and anything that is non-labor, non-equipment will be on this screen. And this can be found by clicking on the icon here, the stack of pipes and dollar signs. You can also get it through the edit menu, uh, but the icon would be much quicker. Now right off the bat, you see that all the material is listed here, all the way, even the subs too, and uh, anything that, that even the miscellaneous codes will be shown on this screen. Now I can change the unit price right here, and it will change it right in the estimate, and I can see that right here in the last change screen. What's nice about this screen is it will also total up the occurrences and give me a total price. So, for instance, in the number 67 stone, if I click down here in the bottom right, show occurrences of resource, I can see both instances of the, um, this number 67 stone, where it occurs, the, the activity and bid items, and then, of course, I can see here that the price is 920. Now, if I make it $10, it will change it in both places. And you notice, since I have this down here, in the change local setup, it will also change it in the local setup file. So the next time I ch choose number 67 stone, 2BA067067, it will be at 10 bucks. Now you notice here that I have uh, a resource that is red. That is because I have two things going on. I have an inconsistent unit and an inconsistent unit cost. Now in 2015, you have filters down here where I can click on only inconsistencies, and I can also exclude subs in that. Usually we don't worry about inconsistencies in subs because they'll be quoting, uh, you know, per bid item. For instance, if you had four asphalt, they'd be quoting 10 bid items. Each one would have a different unit price. So that is going to be something you see. So that's why we have this filter down here to exclude the subs so we don't have to see the inconsistencies of the subs. And so, we see here we got one inconsistency. If I go to fix it, I'll see why it's inconsistent. I see here they have each, and then I have two at bags, plus I have a different co unit cost. So now I'll just go ahead and make it consistent. I can choose any, un uh, any unit of measure. I'm just going to say bag again, and I want to put in a unit cost. Let's say it is $8. You notice I am going to change the local setup because I want this to be the price and the unit the next time I bring it in and I make the change. So now it's no longer inconsistent and drops off of this screen. So these filters are really handy now. Uh, and you can see that one goal is to make this consistent, at least for the materials, before I go into the quote system. Now what will happen in the quote system if I don't have a, uh, a consistency is it will take and it will list each, it will, if I have 10 currencies of, zero, of number 67 uh, aggregate, it will list it 10 times, and you'll have to put the price in 10 times because the computer does not know uh, what the unit price would be. Now, if it has consistency, it will sum them into one line, which is what you want, and then you can just put one price in, and it would change it in all 10 occurrences. So, you want to make sure that your materials are consistent before you go into the quote system. Very important before you start bringing resources into the quote system. Now, I can also change here my waste factor on the right hand side. I can change the taxes. You notice I can change the tax on these things. So if I want now 106, I now have changed the tax and there's the last change right here. Uh, down here at the bottom, I can show the supplemental description and escalation percentage, selected vendor, and quote folder. So I can actually, this is a nice place that I can go in, see the selected vendor and the quote folder, and see what's not in a quote folder, and then I can go out to the quote folders and start adding these other items. Another nice feature is I can right click and send this whole list out to Excel. And that's handy too if I want to do some sorts or some fines here. Maybe I want to find some plug prices and I can do that. So this is a very handy screen, one that you should be using a lot in, uh, in, your, uh, in heavy bid.